A 92-year-old Shreveport woman protects a centuries-old tree after the city came to her home to cut it down for a sewer project this morning. It is tonight's top story. NBC 6's Shirley Busico joining us now live from Leon Street sharing details on this. Shirley, good evening. That's right. The city, she was not letting the city workers take down this 200-something old tree that's standing literally right behind me. So I'm going to step aside so you guys can take a look. The property owner tells me she has a lot of memories with it. Contractors hired by the city to take down a tree that's sitting on top of a collapsed sewer line left empty-handed Thursday morning. Well, you know, what will be will be, but I'm certainly going to do everything I can to stop it. Shreveport police responded to a dispute between Elizabeth Shackelford, the property owner and the city's contractor, for not wanting her tree to be cut down. And we don't have any weapons or haven't even threatened them. I just, they're just not going to cut down my tree, that's all without going through me. There was some question as to the legality of the property owner stopping them versus the city's right of way to run the piping. Um, at this point in time, we have determined that the two parties are going to return to court and they're going to let the courts make a determination as to what uh, is the right course of action. I mean, it's, it's over 200 years old. Yeah. Shackleford's daughter says the Catalpa tree has been around for more than 100 years. It's this tree, the magnolia, all the mandinas, all in across this tree, across the street. I mean, yes, there's dead wood on it that needs to be trimmed, but it is a live producing tree thing. And I've been talking to the engineers and I asked, is there any way around it? And he showed me pretty much like the map and said, this is what we're trying to connect to. We, we, the only other way would be this and that would be pretty much impossible. And he said going several, going north a certain amount, going west a certain amount and that would be pretty much impossible. Jacqueline first says she's known the tree all of her life and she isn't ready to let it go just yet. Its foundation is strong. When it's ready to die, I think it'll die over on its own, and that's how it ought to be. And I think I'll be ready to go to them. Now, we did reach out to the city of Shreveport asking them for more information, but they say they cannot comment or speak on current or pending litigation. Reporting live in Shreveport, Shirley Busico, NBC6 News.